Hi, it's Andy from Hobby Headquarters. Today we're going to be building and reviewing the Tiger One Late with Zimmerit from Dragon. Okay, let's take a look inside here. Right off the top here, we have our photo etch screens and decal sheets. Our instructions, which show you all in blue all the different parts that you don't need in this kit. A lot of them are duplicated. Your torsion bar suspension, extra track links. Zimmerated hull, excuse me, Zimmerated turret, and the hull doesn't have the zimmer on. Looks like it's going to be pieces that you glue onto the side here. Turret tops, different mantlets, which you probably don't use those two because they're going to have to be zimmerated. There must be like six mantlets in this kit. Your gun breech. Parts of the cupola, more parts of the cupola, some of your drive sprockets, and your turret top, excuse me, hull top, side skirts, and there's the other zimmered parts. There's your zimmered sides, and your rear, and your front, and the mantlet in Zimmerit. And as with most Dragon kits, they have a tendency to reuse a lot of their parts over and over again. So you're going to find parts in the early Tigers, the mid Tigers, all the way through in here. So lots of extras for your spare box. And the final thing that they have in the box is the DS tracks. They have hollow horn on this particular one. So not bad looking right here. They're you know, they're not for old track, but they're also not $50 a set extra. So let's start building. Okay, we've cut off and cleaned up all of the torsion bar suspension, so let's put it together.
Okay, we've taken the time to clean and sand all the road wheels, so let's put them on. Okay, we're about halfway through our build here, and I want to talk to you about a few things that I've encountered. First off, I know we took all the time to put our torsion bar suspension in there, but what I've gone ahead and done is just glued all the wheels into a static position, so the suspension doesn't work anymore on this kit. I find it to be kind of a, kind of a little bit of a gimmick, and it causes more problems later on, especially when wheels don't want to line up properly, and not all the wheels will be sitting flat on the ground. Also, another little thing I've had a problem with is nowhere, at least in my instructions, does it show about adding the front piece of Zimrit right here. So if you're waiting and waiting, waiting to the end, you've already and you follow the instructions, you've already added these bolts right here. If you've done that, that Zimrit plate is not going to fit over it. So what I went ahead and did was I actually put the Zimrit on first, then I applied those bolts, and then a little later on, we're going to fill in that little crack with a little putty right there, but. Without it, that would be really tough to try to get on the kit. Also, there's a little bit of a fit issue up in the front here. Minor, I guess it is, because you got to do a little messing around with it to get it to fit. And then right here, this will get covered over with the, uh, the Photo Edge Zimmerit that they have in this kit as well. And the only other thing that I tell about is the connection points. Some of the connection points, like on some of these pieces, there was like 12 connection points to the sprue on there and it seems a little excessive because there's a lot of extra sanding you have to do when you put it together. But other than that, it's a beautiful kit. Show you some of the, uh, the work that's the way it looks. Also too, on the back, there's a lot of little parts that you notice that are not on there right now. I wait to the very, very end to add the real tiny parts because if you're gonna be handling it as much as I do right here, you're inevitably going to be snapping parts off left and right. So that's always the last thing I do just before painting on that. But that's it right there. And uh, let's start the second section.
started adding the tow cables right here, but as you notice, I forgot to put the screens on. Luckily, I did not glue the back of the tow cables on, so I was able to slide them right in. This is adding all the front tools. Okay, I used a R&B brass and aluminum gun barrel on this kit, and I like the detail a little bit better, but doing so, you're going to have to add a little bit of filler to the back to keep the barrel at the right length.
Okay, we've completed construction. We'll take a look around the entire kit here. Very, very nice detail with the Zimmeret. And now we can get on to painting. We're going to start off using XF69 NATO Black, and I'm going to put a nice coat over the entire thing to give it a nice shadow effect. Next, we're going to use XF60 from Tamiya Dark Yellow, and we're going to put on the primary color. And finally, we're going to add brown and green camouflage.
Okay, we have completed the basic paint job, and I have put the tracks on to give you an idea of how the completed tank will look. Please stay tuned for part two, where we will paint and weather the tracks. We will also do all the detailed painting and weathering of the tank. Thanks for watching.